Uh, Captain Rob here in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. Uh, windy, cold, one of our first cold snaps of the year, but we have a 28-foot Carolina Classic 1995 uh, twin cruisers. This has uh, stern drives, uh, Bravo 3 out drives. And we'll go and he obviously loves to fish. There's more fishing equipment. I think he's getting ready for the fall striper season. take one more of the starboard side and we'll take uh, some uh, video and photos of the engines unfortunately the owner couldn't make it down today so we're not going to be able to get the engine started or go out for a, a nice a little uh, test ride but uh, we'll try to go and get some other information for you uh, at a later date all right captain rob uh, aboard 28 uh, carolina classic 1995 twin 7.4 liter Mercruz engines with uh, Bravo 3 drives and uh, the owner loves the fish I cannot say it a much or how much and the cockpit definitely large great platform for fishing have the rocket launchers spreader lights Wash down pump, sh shore power. Fish boxes are large. You have access to pretty much the jack shaft and the aft by removing both uh, both fish boxes. And I believe I'll have to be corrected. I'll talk to the owner later, but I believe uh, one of the bait boxes. Uh, empties out into the bilge area and then you have uh, this is a live well here that's set up and I have some photos of the inside of it as well the helm seating steering throttle controls Fruno chart plotter which I have a photo of standard horizon VHF which is great. They have the Lumar windlass. And I took some photos of up there up front. And then, uh, you know, we actually have the photos and, and uh, a clip of the inside of the galley area, which has more. We could open up our own tackle supply store actually here. So actually a great day, a little bit windy, a little bit cool, but uh, that's fall uh, here in the Northeast. And we're going to be uh, signing off from Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey, and have a wonderful day. All right, Captain Rob on the 28 Carolina Classic on the bow. All the deck railing looks in uh, good shape. And uh, the windlass looks like it's brand new. So looks really good for those that, who like to go and wreck fish off of New Jersey. The eyes and glass uh, is, is definitely on its last year. You can definitely tell that one of the panels was replaced here on the starboard side. That's the top. We'll go back around, back around to the favorite part where you can fish in the cockpit. All right, so uh, actually made it into uh, the cabin, the galley, and obviously the owner loves to fish. So I wish he was here to go and uh, show me how to tie a few new knots, give me all the great locations in Atlantic Highlands off Sandy Hook to go fish. But he put in a, a new stereo last year. There's a microwave, running water sink. 
There's, uh, he doesn't have the dinette table here, so it's not up. But there's actually a little dinette table that would go in there as well. The V-Births. And uh, the headroom, right as you step down, is probably about 6263 before you hit the V-Birth you know, area, and then it comes down a little bit. All nice teak doors. And they actually, uh, the bathroom, it's a de decent size for a 28 foot. So it does have a holding tank. I'm not sure, I didn't uh, check the specs to see if they have a macerator pump, but we'll take a look at that and find out. And the mirrors, we're taking, I'll try to, those actually lift up, so there's actually like a vanity uh, in there, and they hold up with a spring, and I have that as a photo as well. We have uh, the helm seat. Uh, again, <laughs> he loves the fish. Um, ice and glass uh, is definitely probably the original. Um, the ice and glass in itself is not in good condition. Seats. Um, are definitely stained from fishing or just being outdoors. Helm safes and gauges, I believe there's about, I'll have to go and check the notes, but it's like 1100 hours on the Merc Cruisers. They're like a uh, 7.4 liter, which I'll try to go and get, but uh, they're underneath the helm station. Hopefully I could open it up to go and get access, which is engine should be right underneath the console here all right this is uh, the port side um, underneath the bait box and you can see you have uh, the jack shaft through hole fittings batteries probably not going to be able to go and get access uh, to the engine compartment unfortunately since the owner is not here today but we'll probably do that at a later date for anyone that has any questions. And we'll go over to uh, starboard side and, and take a look there and take some photos. This is uh, the starboard side, jack shaft, through hull, and the, the batteries. And I believe in the center line you have uh, the fuel tank. There's one main and believe there's two saddle tight tanks about 28 gallons a piece on the port and starboard side as well. This is the, a view looking aft, jack shaft, steering and cables.